In this video, I'm going over upgrading Ubuntu to Pop! OS. Now, most people think you need to reinstall an operating system, especially when it comes to doing a spin off of Ubuntu. A lot of times you can actually upgrade Ubuntu directly to that distribution without changing or reinstalling anything. So in this video, I'm gonna show you that. So with all that said, let's jump over to the desktop. Okay, so here's our default Ubuntu install, and we want to change this to Pop! OS. We've been using Ubuntu for a while now. This is 18.04, and we want to go ahead and switch over to uh, Ubuntu. So with that, let's just go ahead and look at what our system settings are. So we'll go ahead and pull that up and go to details. Now this is actually 18.04 and 64-bit. So from here, this is a pretty solid vanilla Ubuntu install, already using GNOME for the desktop environment, which was what Pop! OS uses. So it should be a very easy in-place upgrade. So with that, let's go ahead and pull up Terminal. All right, we're just gonna add the PPA. So we're gonna go sudo add apt repository, and that's gonna be PPA system 76 forward slash pop. And then we'll put our password in. We'll hit enter to add the repository. It's gonna go ahead and do an update for us. All right, with the update done, now we can just do sudo apt install pop dash desktop and this will upgrade our ubuntu to pop os so it's saying it needs session installer so let's see if we can't install that dependency all right now that session installer is installed let's try to reinstall pop desktop this time and see what happens Looks like it's gonna go through, so let's go ahead and hit yes. This is gonna be a very da long download. I anticipate this upgrade taking about an hour's time. Okay, now that we have our Ubuntu back up and working here, um, and we finally finished this out. You notice it took about 40 minutes to an hour on this virtual machine with four CPUs and four gigs of memory. So you might be able to shave off another 10, 20 minutes depending on your computer, or it might be even longer than 40 minutes. Uh, it just depends. So with that, let's go ahead and reboot and see what we get in this Ubuntu to Pop! OS migration. Come over here and hit restart. All right, so looks like uh, the login manager's here. Let's go ahead and see what we get on login. And there we have it. This is uh, Ubuntu to Pop! OS. As you see the Pop! OS background, um, let's go ahead and hit our settings to see what this looks like. All our icons have changed over to Pop! OS's icons. Go over here. Sure enough, look at that, Pop! OS with the Ubuntu logo, 18.04. Um, so everything's here uh, just in Pop! OS form. So let's go ahead and pull up File Manager. As you see, it looks a little different, but uh, there we go. We got all the Pop! customizations in uh, our Ubuntu that is now on Pop! OS. So this is the live migration from a vanilla Ubuntu to Pop! OS just to kind of show you that you don't need to necessarily completely wipe out your system before doing this. Now, let's say you don't like this and you want to uninstall and move back to Ubuntu. Uh, I would highly recommend probably doing a time shift or a backup point prior to actually upgrading because removing pop-desktop, uh, I think would cause all kinds of problems. So I don't recommend downgrading. A lot of times the upgrade is the easy part, but downgrading is a lot harder, especially if you don't have backups. Backups obviously just restore your old backup and you go back to Ubuntu. So there you have it. That is upgrading vanilla Ubuntu to Pop! OS. Please note, remember you can upgrade to it 
fairly easily as shown in this video, but downgrading it is an entirely different beast. You can't just purge this package and expect everything to be okay. So when it comes to backups, definitely check out my video on time shift. I'll go ahead and put it up here in the left hand corner. Uh, just check that out because you should be doing backups and time shift you can easily revert back to a backup. And before doing something like this, definitely do that with time shift. I highly recommend it. It's a great piece of software. But with all that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. And a big shout out to my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.